hair before five o'clock, just a hair before five o'clock. Pretty much on time this time. So let's see if we've got decent audio for the broadcast. It was just straight up five o'clock. And let's see what we have. Oh wow, there we go. We got good audio. We're on time. We're doing okay. We're doing okay all of a sudden. And Leon's in the house. He says hello everybody. Stig's in the house. He says hello to Leon, Craig the Stunner and everybody. Lance is in the house. He says hello to Craig and all. And Triforce Rich is in the house. Straight up 100% Rich is in the house off the start. Right off the 5 o'clock start. And there's a stunner alert stunner alert. I took a few pictures of the 002 stunner. This be of course the SBGY002 and I just posed it with an alligator belt that's pretty close match and I thought these photos came out pretty good pretty good. That, that watch is very hard to photograph the light just plays off it all different kinds of ways and it's hard to get the white balance right to get the the gold to look the right shade that looks pretty close in this video though to the right shade of 18 karat yellow gold and this is one of my tightest French cuffs and it will go underneath it as you can see uh, but this is one of my tight cuffs and Let's see, Ray's in the house. He says, hey, guys. And uh, Brett says, yo, Craig. And Jordan's in the house saying hello twice, a twofer. And David Williams is in the house as well. David, uh, uh, could you comment on how comfortable you find the, 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 strap, the strap to be on your stunner? Uh, the the alligator strap because I'm finding this to be exceptionally comfortable just exceptionally comfortable especially since I kind of formed it to my wrist a little bit it's uh, pretty amazing and Carlos says hello Craig and all and Triforce Rich says saw your flicker pics of the stunner and wow the supple details and the finishing really are great you should give the case back more credit and time yeah it's it is pretty amazing uh, but you know when you're using the watch that's against your wrist so you don't really see that so Lance is in the house and he says hello to Carlos Studebaker says I see you got your wish back in September you suggested a GS 18 karat gold 38 or 38 and a half millimeter you got it I'm amazed at the marketing genius of GS that can ask $25,000 for that watch. I am shocked. Studa Baker. I'll tell you what, it's a stunner. It's a stunner and I think it's worth every penny. And we're going to talk about that. We're going to compare it to some other dress watches, some competitive options. But this 002 is an absolute standout. An absolute standout. There's really no watch you can compare it to, but we're going to do that anyway. And let's see, um, Triforce Rich says hello to Carlos. And camera does not do it justice. I hope it does. I hope it does show it correctly. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. You have to see it in person. You absolutely need to see the 002 in person to really see what it looks like. And that's the true with a lot of watches, but with Grand Seiko, it's especially true. Um, is the wrench gang really a fan club <laughs> well you're gonna to have to ask them why they became a member of the wrench gang I think they might all have different reasons but maybe they can answer in the chat why they became a member of the wrench gang and David says yes have come in a previously leather strap and deployment for the 005 quite comfortable highly recommend for any GS owner and I'll tell you what <clears throat> you say you don't wear yours in the summertime I, I think I might wear mine some in the summertime uh, because, you know, if you're dressed nice and all that, usually in the summertime you're, you're in air conditioning anyway most of the time, and a little bit of sweat getting on the strap, I, I don't really think it's going to be like the death knell for it. So I'm going to wear mine and use it year-round. I was actually contemplating, I was thinking to myself, okay, what if I wanted to go down to just a one watch rotation 
what watch <coughs> excuse me what watch would I choose now that the the 231 diver for heavy use sport watch obviously that's the obvious choice but for an all-arounder you can't really wear that uh, with a suit it's not really going to be it's not going to suffice and then of course I have the 005 but it's a compromise it's not really a straight up dress watch right it's kind of like an all-arounder right and very versatile but just like anything if if it's an if it can do several tasks it's probably not going to be perfect at any of those individual tasks and then of course I have the gold the gold stunner it would be kind of bizarre to wear this gold stunner all the time it would be kind of kind of different right but maybe it would be fun maybe maybe I could wear it with jeans and a t-shirt also that might be kind of interesting to think about just something to think about something wild on the channel to think about 25k for a watch of that quality cannot be made in Switzerland period Tom Tom Stever yeah well they don't have anything to really answer the 002 uh, ignore that the 02 is the bee's knees um, is that strap a little long if if I had to if I had a custom one made yes the part the part that let me pull it out here so you can fully see it this part that goes through, yes, I mean, it could be, geez, almost an inch shorter, right? So if I had a custom one made, and maybe a good leather guy, maybe when I go to Steve's next event, maybe the, the leather guy will be there. He might be able to shorten this one. He might be able to just trim it off and restitch it and make it look perfect, a good leather guy. But, I mean, it's not the end of the world that it, extends longer obviously they make it so that it can fit you know various wrists so yeah it works it's still it's, it see it it hugs nicely here with the second keeper there's two keepers so it works um, let's see 100% GS can't be done justice unless seen in person Triforce Rich um, how is the anticipated resale value of this new stunner compared to the presidential? I have no idea. They, they've sold pretty well so far. On The ones that have been on uh, eBay have sold pretty quickly. Uh, and we're asking, the asking price was around list price. So I don't know, you know what they actually sold for. But as I've said many times on this channel, I don't buy my watches for resale. I buy my watches to wear. I'm not in the business of buying and selling watches. I just buy them and wear them. If I end up selling them at some point, that's so be it. But it's certainly not something that I consider when I'm purchasing a watch. I, I purchase the best watch I can for the task that I wish that wa watch to serve and a watch that I will really like. Those are the criteria, not resale value. Okay, so let's see. I would choose the 231, says Leon. Desert hat, not great for the... Desert heat, not great for the leather strap here on again in September, October. Yeah, but I think, David, I think it could probably handle it. I don't really think it would hurt it being out in the heat a little bit. Uh, Studebaker, I heard you cough the other day on Steve's and again today. Are you doing okay? You might get that checked. Well, I've had, um, I've, I've got the, the coronavirus and I've had it for about six weeks now I've had the the virus and so far I'm still alive I think I caught it from Brianna I think she gave it to me so there you go okay <clears throat> as far as getting things checked out I'm not going anywhere near the doctors I don't trust them as far as I can throw them uh, so that's how that works um I see the wrench in this as recognition to people that participate and are nice. There you go. And also, my gosh, I do love the help I get keeping the trolls at bay because this is a troll-free zone. Uh, we're trying to do things positive on this channel and moving forward, and we don't need trolls mucking up the works. Many people wear dive watches with suits, but I think that a true dress watch matches best. Yeah, a big watch with a suit looks pretty goofy if I do say so myself does not look right I know some older gentlemen who rock
gold dress watches all the time, but it really makes you look old. I think a sports and dress rotation is the answer. You're still active and in motion. Actually, I think if you're old, you look old no matter what watch you have on. I, I've got the gray hair and all. I mean, I look kind of old. So I think that looking old has nothing to do with the watch you're wearing. I think it has to do with what you look like. So there's that. It's just like, I mean, some people say, well, you know, if you wear certain colors, you won't look fat, right? Well, no, if you're fat, you're still going to look fat no matter what color, whatever you put on, right? It is what it is. Um, so let's see. Um, Stu, yes, the Wrench Gang surely is a fan club for people who love truth and not necessarily are politically correct. There you go. Yeah, we call it the way we see it here. Not to worry about resale. His watches are to be worn and resale, no worry. There you go. Craig, definitely reach out to Richard to get a custom strap made. I have his contact info. We'll send you an email. Okay, I'll, yeah, I'll keep that handy. I don't know that I'm going to do it anytime soon because I love this strap that's on it, but uh, I definitely want to have that info. I might get a black one made next time. Uh, Cheetown says, hey, Craig. Uh, okay. And humidity is what really destroys leather straps. Interesting. Interesting. That's kind of strange because I wear like, you know, alligator belts and all that kind of stuff in any kind of weather situation. And they, they seem to stay, they, they seem to survive. Triforce Rich, so I'm still contemplating buying my dad the GS talked to my mom about it and she said he might not like the fact that it is a Seiko uh, got to hope quality will overcome brand snobbery well it depends on what he likes yeah if he wants the best he, he wants to get the grand Seiko the O2 is rare and there are only four available to purchase on chrono 24 versus 300 118 238 well there you go Craig if you flip if you flip the strap so that the pointed part of the strap is at 12 o'clock position when wearing it, and it will probably wear better. I had to flip my Seiko deployment straps, Leon. Yeah, I've heard people have done that, but I love this. I love it the way it is. So, yeah, for me, this is uh, this is fine. So I guess to each their own. Yep, never trust a doctor, especially when they're putting all their kids through um, med through school, right? And you're and you're expected to pay for it. Uh, Leather strap is a must. Nope, no leather strap now. NATO, then bracelet until autumn. And Cheetown says, hey, Carlos, I have located too little or no sign of wear 231s recently for 4400 Well, there you go. That's a good buy, I'd say. I'd say that's a good buy if they really are in good shape like that. Perlon straps go well with dress watches. Okay. Craig, I'm talking about buying a Seiko SARB035 in the next coming weeks. Hmm. What are your thoughts on that watch? Um, a, a Seiko, not a Grand Seiko? Sar Lance, no. I told you, don't buy any more of the cheap, affordable watches. Brakes. Put the brakes on. Hold up. Hold up. Pull back, pull back from the throttle a little bit. Don't buy anything. Just save up some money and get something nice. Okay, Lance, please listen next time I give you advice. You're not listening. Craig is going to rock the 002 with a NATO. There you go. Um, get strap made for 005. Oh, no, 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 that's okay. I, yeah, I don't think I'm going to put the 005 on a strap. I like the yours on a strap, though, but... I don't think I'm going to do that. Lance uh, is a perfect at Lance is a perfect watch, but sell something to pay for it, please. Yeah, no, don't that's, please. Yeah, sell some of those other watches, but don't buy anything else. Start piling up money and get something nice. Don't buy any more of those those affordable quote affordable watches. Craig, I had failed. I had a failed f fan on my 2011 MBP. Opened up the computer, pulled out the fan, removed a plastic obstruction and lint, and now it's back up and running. Gotta love classic Mac durability. Oh, the MacBook Pro. Okay. 2011 MacBook Pro. Okay. Our wags. Um, hi, Carlos. Uh, England 
has James Bond as 007. We have Craig Ship as 002. How about that? Our wags in the house. Okay, let's look at a few more photos real quick because I think I think uh, we're going to have a call in. I think I think Kyle was going to call in and give us an update from the West Coast. So that there's another picture with the um, alligator belt. Some pictures I took today. And then we're going to get to some competitive options. There's one. There's a Vacheron. Vacheron. And this one, let's look at the model. Okay, this you can see there, it's a 40 millimeter uh, manual wind. And so the issue that I have with this is the 38 and a half mil that is the 002 to me is the perfect size going up to 40 I think is pushing it a little bit for a dress watch but that's a competitive option for sure for sure also I do like the way the lugs curve on the 002 in, in shape into the case like they're more part of the case as opposed to this one where they're kinda like stuck on so I like a more flowing curve to the lug design but that is definitely a competitive option. There's a side view. Now this is a, a, a Calatrava. This is another competitive option. This is the 5227J and the reason I, I selected this as a competitive option is it's 39 mils whereas the the other model that uh, we've talked about in the past, the other, other Calatrava 5196 I guess it is, is a smaller watch. I can run 37 mil. I think it's too small and this one's 39 mils so it's very very close to the size of the 002 so elegant looking from the side elegant looking from the top but now this one has the date and is auto wine so for me I'd rather not have the date so that would kind of knock this one out as a competitive option for me with the 002 just the fact that it has the date now here's the 5196 and again I don't like that side view on that watch I don't like the look of that from the side I guess teach their own but I like a more rounded flowing case design from the side and let's see the front on shot there's the front on shot it looks pretty good right but again it's 37 mils so not so sure about that let me see what else I've got in here and here's of course a Crador uh, which you would generally speaking spend a lot more money for that and that is rose gold so that would knock it out for me and again I don't like the lugs I don't like the way the lugs meet the case and the, and the lug design on that so that would be a pass on that one for me so there's a look at a few competitive options and um, here is the uh, here's the 002 stunner on yours truly's wrist the 002. I don't think you want it any bigger than that. I think that's the size you want right there. Uh, let's see. NATO and dress shouldn't be in the same sentence. Um, and you know, years ago, a lot of men wore dresses, uh, watches that are kind of similar to this, more like a dress watch. I mean, the sport watch genre is relatively new invention, right? When I say relatively new, you know, last 50 years or whatever. Uh, most most men's watches were kind of a dress type design similar to this and then they had different straps they'd put on them but I mean this was this was very common a design like this so there's something to be said for that I think oh by the way I'm gonna let this stop I'm gonna let it run for the 72 hour power reserve and let it stop and then I'm gonna try to shoot a video of the startup when you know you when you screw it, wind it, and it goes, the second hand goes faster, and then the, and then the regulator kicks in and it slows down, I'm going to try to shoot a video clip of that and see if I'm able to capture that. So that's my plan, and I'm going to stick to it. It should stop maybe tomorrow, late tomorrow, is my guess. It's been about two days since I've wound it. and it has a 72 hour power reserve okay so let's see here um, uh, REGS can be 003 
Well, the 003s are hard to find. They were a limited production piece, and they're, they're hard to find as far as I know. Lance, that is a really nice entry-level watch, but seriously, just be disciplined and save up for that GS. Yes, yes, don't keep spending money on these entry-level watches. You've got too many of those already, for gosh sakes. You've got way too many entry-level watches. Uh, good one, R Wags. I wrote an or I wrote an Orient. I wore. <laughs> come, on, I can't read. I wore an Orient until I was able to afford my first luxury watch. I didn't go out and buy a bunch of affordable watches. Allowed me to buy a Speedmaster in my mid twenties. There you go, Triforce. Craig, should Leslie and I call in? Yes. Let, let me make sure I've got uh, everything ready for you. <clears throat> And yes, I think I'm ready for the call. So hopefully you can call in and I can answer it. And we'll get that report from the West Coast. What about a gold-colored 19-millimeter expansion brand on the O2? Hey, let's talk about it. I have an idea. You know that that gold bracelet that uh, Steve wears? That really cool one made in Italy. Um, what is it? Fope, F-O-P-E, I think. I think that is the company. He's a dealer for those. Wouldn't it be cool if, of course, it's, this is never going to happen, right? But this would be so cool. If, if Grand Seiko collaborated with them and had them make a custom bracelet for the 002. Because because they do great work. They do b gorgeous work, right? And it could be like an expansion bracelet, like the one he has. I don't know if you guys have seen it, where it, it literally expands and contracts, and it's all 18 karat gold. And he, he puts it over his hand, and then it contracts, and it fits perfectly because it's made to measure. So something like that would be really, really cool if Fope could make a custom bracelet for the 002 and for some other like high-end Grand Seikos that would that'd be a really cool like optional thing right I think I think that'd be great and Lance says I really like the look of it though it looks like a baby Jess yeah d hold off hold off back up back away from the keyboard <laughs> don't do anything rash hey Carlos and everyone and Lance uh, get the O33 R wags my point exactly with his haircut. Craig looks quite like an Englishman of the late 60s. Okay, there we go. And it's going to keep getting bushier and longer and all because nobody around here is cutting hair right now. So it's going to keep growing. Um, Lance, don't strive to be a baby. Strive to be a man. You can get a used 005 for around 2500 that is foreseeable with some savings. There you go. The one watch rotation is the day date. Yes, a day date would make a a powerful one watch rotation. Absolutely, it would. Yep. Uh, I did it. Well, I actually didn't do it. I I ha always had a a steel sport watch in rotation with my day date, so I never did do a one day date rotation. I wonder if our wags, if he primarily wears his day date or if he r rotates it with his um, other watches. That would be good to know if our wags uh, wears his most of the time or if he rotates it. Let us know in the chat. Derek, what's the greatest? Derek, what's the greatest watch ever made? Here you go. <laughs> I think we can make a legit argument that it is the 002 Stunner. The 002 stunner yeah so that is pretty amazing pretty amazing uh, let's see here um, there's there's in the house we haven't seen him for a while uh, he says hi to our wags Lewis is in the house with the money I spent on affordable watches in the beginning I could have bought a GS then had to go to the trouble of selling them didn't make that mistake don't make that mistake lance there you go triforce rich um if it was the first watch i would totally tell him to get the sar but he already has other watches so he has no need for entry level anymore absolutely he doesn't 
uh, both 0 through 3 and 0 through 5 are perfect on that segment choose one or the other as you like the dial color but sell something I'd sell all but one I would pick the the one of entry level watch that you like the most that you have I'd sell all but one keep that one and then keep saving up and getting get something nice don't buy any more entry level watches don't do it just back off back away from the keyboard as far as buying don't back away as far as selling let's see once you have any Grand Seiko you will realize that a Saab is just a two hundred dollar watch that is a step up from the entry level Seiko okay uh, buy the 003 and we can call you 003 there you go um, and Durr says hi to Carlos and Lance uh, would be better off getting a GS SBGX 9F model over an SARB 035 absolutely good afternoon uh, Chi Town from our wags that Calatrava is what I would consider in the same segment as the 002 5196 is different is different watch segment well but the problem is the other one with the has a date and it's automatic I don't, that's really not what I want not not what I would want so they don't really make something that is directly competitive with the 002 of course nobody really does because none of them have the spring drive so so there's that I mean this watch really is trust me I wouldn't have bought it if it wasn't freaking amazing I told you that when I saw it in person if it wasn't absolutely stunning absolutely stunning I mean stunning I told you I wouldn't buy it and it is absolutely stunning and that is why I bought it so I'm not just whistling Dixie here on this channel I'm a cheapskate folks I would not have bought this watch if it wasn't all that trust me I would not okay um, by the way two weeks until the Bitcoin having folks two weeks until the Bitcoin having now there could be a little dip after the having it doesn't always shoot right up after the having it usually doesn't shoot up for about a year or so after the having but this having we never know all bets are off with this thing that's going on and the economy and everything it's all everything's in a state of flux but definitely we're gonna have a little roller coaster coming away coming coming our way little roller coaster ride with Bitcoin two weeks to the having. Chip, how about the SBGA384 for sale on eBay? Okay, let me answer this. <clears throat> okay, let me um, full screen this puppy. There we go. Oh, he's got the show on. He's got the show on. Got the show on. I got to pause it, though, I guess. Let me get my headset here. Oh, hang in there. Or put it on mute or something. a slightly different configuration here all right i see you had the show up on the the mac the imac i do all right there you go yeah. and it looks like it's cloudy there it is overcast about 65 oh well yeah. that's that's not good there's somebody running though i just saw somebody running by yeah okay. people are out all right do you think that more folks are are starting to get out and about now, or, or do you think that the uh, the fear of the the invisible threat is is waning, and that people are just like getting out and about? I'm feeling that way. Yeah, yeah. Just well, out know. in front here, we've had the past two days. You're not supposed to gather in large groups, but there's been gatherings i guess yeah the uh -huh. past two days of probably i would say 30 to 40 people mm -hmm. right in front of the property here just on the bluff between the the boardwalk and the sand so you know I it's think it, we're getting over it it is so insane that that governments are closing down parks and outside areas and things like that that's where people should be that's where the, yeah. the thing does not transfer well at all outdoors it, I it, agree. it indoors is 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 not the place to be this this thing does not survive outdoors so that's where people should be out and about and right. they and they're doing the opposite they're like closing down parks and things like that it's absolutely ridiculous uh, but I know we were actually thinking about uh skype calling in from a from a hike today we were going to go on a hike in mm -hmm. palos verdes 
but uh, Leslie ended up having class. We forgot about that. So she's on class right oh, now. Okay. She, uh, okay. She's going to come in, though, in a minute. So. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so let me catch up on the comments here, just see if there's anything. Uh, and any questions you want me to ask, Kyle, just put them in the comments here. Uh, and Brent says, kids these days. Uh, oh, he's, ta he's talking well. about Lance. It, they like anything <laughs> that shines. Um, there and 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 Durs in the house. Uh, Lance, you'll only end up getting a couple hundred dollars for your tags. Most likely, you're probably better off just keeping them. Uh, well, you don't need a whole bunch of them. Sell all but one, and then save up the money and buy something nice. Uh, I, that's what my recommendation would be. Uh, Lance, it seems to be much better than anything in that price segment, but I do not know much about movements. Okay, Craig, what do yeah. you recommend for sandwich bread? I don't eat any sandwich bread, so I can't recommend sandwich bread. Uh, now, when I buy a, a sub at the, at the, uh, at the deli, then, then that's on the, whatever the sub roll is, you know, but I do that occasionally. That's like, that's not my staple. Um, so no, I don't eat a lot of bread. I eat very See, little, I very little bread. Um, hello. hello, hello. Hi, Craig. So hi, I understand you were studying. Yeah, I just got out the shower. I have class right now. What, what, uh, so what are you studying? Uh, human services with an emphasis in mental health. So you get right on the computer and what do they do? Do they give you like a lecture right over the computer or what, how yep. does it work? Yeah, I have a lecture, uh, a lecture and, um, yeah, just a lecture. So are you supposed to be paying attention to the lecture right now? Yes. <laughs> well, you better go back and do it. <laughs> go back and do it, and then when they take a break or something, you can say hi or, or whatever. Uh, <laughs> we're taking... I, I wanted to say one thing, uh -huh. though, too, yes. about, about Lance. I mean, uh -huh. good Lord, like, was he born in 2005 or four? I mean, he's got a way better watch than I had at that age. I think we're forgetting yeah. that here. Well, yeah, yeah. Lance is wearing a tag it, for your watch. Yeah. I mean, that's like way, it, way beyond. I think I might have had a. Exactly. He's doing. He's 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 doing great. He's just got to slow down and relax on the watch thing a little bit. He's got to. I think what he should yeah. do is figure out which of the watches he has now that he really likes the most. That's a great. This is way ahead of where I was at. Yeah, he's got to pick which one would be a great all-arounder yeah. that he can wear and enjoy, and I would really recommend selling the rest, hopefully to friends that he knows or something, so that he can get all the money. He doesn't have to give a cut to eBay or something. In other words, take his time and find yeah. the right buyers. Don't be in a hurry, but liquidate those and then and then save up and get the watch that he really wants. I mean, because because he you know he's like you say he's got great options for for a watch to wear so pick the best option there and then work your way up and 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 get the one that you really want that that would be my uh my recommendation um and now chi town says once faux pay opens up they should make a custom bracelet for the o2 that would be awesome oh yeah i'm going to talk to steve about it um and also maybe they'll be able to make watches for other grand seiko models uh that would be a really cool like joint venture type thing. Uh, Trashy Larry uh, deleted was deleted by Carlos. <laughs> and, no surprise. There. And Leon, uh, nice idea about faux pay. However, we cannot get a 40 millimeter diver out of GS. So why uh, would they do that? Well, the the only reason they might do that is they wouldn't really have to do much, right? All they'd have to do is provide a mock up of the case. And then Fopay would do it, right? So, I mean, hopefully that wouldn't be that difficult to do. Uh, have Bree cut your hair. She might next time she's here. I think she's talented. I think she could do that. Um, let's see. Uh, Carlos Tr Trashelier didn't say anything bad. Uh-oh. We've got a debate going with the Wrench Gang. Uh, Lance, <laughs> sell off everything you have, even at a loss, says Buser. Um not everything. Come on, keep one watch. Thurston Howe the third says Hob Hobnail Kala. Okay. R Wag says Craig. I rotate my day date with my 18 karat Rolex Oyster Perpetual with brown alligator band. Okay. All right. Well, let us know which you wear the most. What the percentages are on that R Wags, so we know a little more detail on so, that. Lance. So your new your new watch is comfortable though, Craig. 
oh my gosh it just sits here and just floats on the wrist it just yeah that looks great it's like i don't even know it's there i you know i was never a strap guy right but i mean i'm coming around this thing i i, I think it's a super cool i think it looks elegant uh yeah it's very distracting when you're in the car and the the sun's hitting that that gold i mean it's just super distracting yeah it's uh i couldn't be happier with the piece i really couldn't be i i'm three for three the the three watches i've bought from steve i've been extremely happy with all three of them so didn't you buy the snowflake from steve i too? bought a snowflake from him too and but i didn't keep that so obviously i wasn't as happy with that as i was with the three that i've kept right um, yeah. It was too much of an in-betweener. It was not a great dress watch because it was a little bit on the thick and big side. It was 41 mils and a yeah. little bit thick. So I tried it, it on. So, the so, Beverly Hills yeah, so, yeah, so it just wouldn't have made a good dress watch. Yep. And it wasn't a straight-up sport watch like the 231. So it was kind of like a nowhere's man's watch, right? Whereas yours is yeah. small enough and thin enough that yours can be a great dress watch. I know. I wish that the snowflake was the size of this. Yeah. That would be perfect. Yeah. So, perfect. so, so that's why I sold it. I mean, yeah. that's, that's straight up why I sold it. Um, so yeah, I'm not as happy with that one as I was with the other three that I've obviously kept. Um, right. So let's see. Craig is right. This is not an opinion, Lance. <laughs> um, <laughs> My SARB035 runs okay, but in general, 6R movements have reliability problems. I'd still steer clear if I were you, especially with prices going up. Okay. I might hold off on Seiko. Good, good. But take might out of that sentence. Just hold off. Are all alligator and croc straps the same, or is there a top brand for that, Eduardo? Well, I, no, I'm sure they're not all the same. I'm sure the quality of construction is different, and probably the quality of the hides is probably different, and, and there, there are definite variations in, in uh, any, anything like that, absolutely, Eduardo. Craig has three identical GSs. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think they're identical, <laughs> but that's a good joke. Uh, Leon, because he's talking about the Pontiff has all those identical uh, Petex. Uh, notice how much disposable money you have not uh, you have not being married or having kids. You you have not being married or having kids. Um, well, I mean, there are people that are married and have kids and still have disposable income. So kids don't necessarily have to wreck your income schedule, but they can, I guess. Hold I don't on. have any. There you go. And Cheetown says, hold off, Lance. No more watches until you can afford a GS or Rolex. Everyone and, wants to tell Lance how to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And Durr says, uh, Lance, you already have an impressive collection for a high schooler. If you're not moving forward, you're moving backwards. you got to upgrade, not downgrade. Durr in the house. That's what uh, I've been saying. Let's, let's see. Well. Um so. And Beerserve says it's 81 up here in the valley. Um, and Leon says uh, Governor Gavin Newsom must be a Giants fan, and he knows they're going to do spit this year, so that's uh, why he's closed the state up. Um, I've, I've got to get one of those hats, Kyle, says Blue. Uh, yeah, they're good. This is not only a good-looking hat, it's very comfortable. And Ornamental Design says, Craig, congrats, congratulations on your new GS, which is super accurate and beautiful. You did not bought the watch with outdated movement technology just because the watch is famous, brand logo on the dial, et cetera. Well, yeah, I bought the watch that I really like, and I think it's stunning. I think it's absolutely gorgeous, and I like what Grand Seiko stands for. I like the way they build watches. They're kind of clueless when it comes to marketing, but they don't seem to have to have a clue because they're selling just about everything they can make, and uh, and they're doing all right. Imagine if they had the the marketing chops of Rolex, right? We we wouldn't be able to get near one of their watches. They they they'd be sold out for years, just like all just like some of the Rolex models. I mean, you just wouldn't be able to get any. So I'm I'm actually pleased that they don't have a clue when it comes to marketing because that means we can still get a hold of a piece here and there. Uh, let's see. Um, 
The Chi Town, because of all the sheltering in place, I wonder how many people will be coming down with serious viral infections later due to supposed su suppressed immune systems. Interesting. Uh, Kyle, do you like uh, the restaurant Scopa? Scopa, S C O P A. What is that? I I saw somebody had asked that last time, and you know what? I haven't been to that restaurant. Okay. It's on Washington, okay. so I know. I mean, I know where it is. I just I haven't been there. Um, so I'm sorry. Is it? Is it? Am I missing out? I mean, there are I don't, a lot That's of a good question. Let us know in the chat if he really should check it out. It's an Italian place. Here, so, and here's somebody saying that a Lance should keep his Brightling and liquidate the rest. There you go. Maybe that's a good idea. Um, has a Brightling too. I guess. Lance got a uh, Brightling, a Movado, and a, a, I guess. a tag. And you're worried about him. I guess. <laughs> and let's see. Um, and Triforce Rich says Leslie is studying uh, mentor health, <laughs> mental health. He put mentor health. Let's introduce her to Lamont. <laughs> okay. Whatever that all means. I was born in 2003, says Lance. Um, Lance probably bought uh, Bitcoin in 2011, so he's doing all right. <laughs> there we go. Um, <laughs> and Brie Fit Dance is in the house. The lovely Brianna, she says hello to everyone. And we got to ask her, does she cut hair? Brie, do you cut hair? Let us know in the chat if you cut hair. I know your mom does, but let us know in the chat if you do as well. Durr says, if Leslie is studying mental health, maybe she'll be able to diagnose what's wrong with Archie uh, for getting his five identical crappy Pateks. My guess is he doesn't own those watches. My guess is he's trying to move them for, for people. I, I seriously doubt he bought five Pateks. Uh, I'm just going to come right out and say that. Um, that's uh, I'm going to call that that a foul. Um, so there's that. I don't watch his channel too often. Didn't realize he had five of them. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. I actually started off with the Timex, and I still have it. Says Lance. There you go. How how big is the 9F diver? Does anybody know what the size of the 9F diver is? It's a Japanese market watch. It is a little smaller, right, than the, the than the two three one, but I don't think it's forty mils. Isn't it like forty two? You might have to Google that. Uh, let's see, Kevin, uh, is it allowed to go? It, is it allowed to go outside here in Denmark? The police give tickets to people gathering in groups. Some areas in the U.S. are giving tickets for people. It just depends on where you are. Here in the uh, People's Republic of Maryland. I think there are big fines if you gather together in public. Um, so, yeah. David Williams says, in high school, I was all about Timex Iron Man. It was 100% awesome. Just started my watch collection in university. Okay. Man, it's hard to keep up with these comments. <clears throat> a lot of comments in here. I need, I need, a, I need a producer to, to help me with, with this sort of thing. Um, Quite a few people watching right now. Now, somebody says, imagine if Lexus launched in the u.s with the name grand toyota yeah hey it would, probably would have still worked triforce rich i, I think that's you know I, people buy the lexus <laughs> because they want a, a luxury version of the toyota they know what they're buying and and i really think it would have still worked i i, I don't think it's all in a name I think it's uh, a lot of it has to do with the quality of the car because let's face it, Lexus doesn't have the cachet of BMW or Mercedes. They're buying a Lexus because they want something with the reliability of a Toyota and they want something luxurious. But they're they're buying that that Toyota reliability. In my opinion, that's what they're doing. I think they sold the Lexus LS as a Toyota until fairly recently in Japan. Okay, it's possible. It was just a Toyota. Yeah. Let's see. Always. Lance, yeah. sell it all, save the Brightling, don't buy any more. There you go. Um, uh, great buying, Eldorado. I had a bunch of Seiko divers, but I got rid of them and only have my S SKX. I'm holding off on any more watches until I can afford a sub. There you go. Uh, Cheat Town, I wear my 1995 Rolex sub on a Velcro strap. Okay. Archie probably owns his... JLC Reverso. <laughs> there you go. That's possible. Current 9F diver is 43 mils. Oh, that's interesting. It's the same size as mine. 
Lance, Kyle, do they make your GS in white or silver? I know they have both. white. We saw it saw it the other day. They have both. They have blue too. The blue dial one is the one I'd go for. I actually, think it's I, I think it's like blue, white, and black, right? And silver. Or do I think. you call that? They maybe they call the white silver. It looked white to me in the picture. But yeah. I thought they had both white and silver. Oh really? I, both, I think so. Yeah, I huh. thought there was both white and silver, a black, and then a blue. And the and you think the blue looks stunning. I was gonna get the blue, mm -hmm. but I think it's a Japanese domestic piece. I think so. I'm okay. pretty sure you'd have to order it from eBay or something like that. Okay, so so Kevin says Scopa is very good restaurant. Check it out when the world opens up again. Okay, there I you will. go. There yeah, you go. there are a lot of great restaurants okay. in town here. Okay. Um, so Cheat Town, California. I'm not buying any more watches until I can get another 1601 with box and papers. There you go. And little treasuries in the house. Uh, we were talking about uh, a, a faux pay bracelet. We were talking about a, co co a collaboration between faux pay and Grand Seiko and having them make a custom 18-karat uh, gold bracelet for the 002 Stunner. What do you think about that for a collaboration between Fope and Grand Seiko? They already use uh, an Italian manufacturer to make the uh, the the uh, deployant clasp on the O2. So why not an Italian manufacturer to build a gold stunner bracelet? That would be super cool. What do you think about that little treasury? And also, by the way, we need to get that bracelet that Steve wears added to the little treasury website because people have been asking about that bracelet he wears, that faux pay bracelet, and it's not on there. There's some ladies' ones and so forth, some different ones on there, but not one like Steve has. Correct. The Lexus LS400 and LS430 were sold in Japan as the Toyota uh, Cel Celsior, I guess, before Lexus was introduced to the G DJM in 2006. Okay. Lexus barely, yeah. Le Lexus oh, barely okay. exists in Japan. That is why it was made for the American market. Personally, I'm a fan of high-end Toyotas like the Land Cruiser. Land Cruiser is, is amazing. It's the Century. Century is the best car that the whole brand produces. Okay. Rolls Royce competitor. That that yeah, that one that's like used by heads of state and stuff like that over there, right? Yeah, yeah. the 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 crown ornament takes uh, craftsmen, I think, a month to to make just the crown, the or the the emblem. Gotcha. <laughs> hey, that's cool. Triforce Rich. I saw a few of them when I was there. Oh, cool. Steve, Steve, do you have an 007 in stock? The 60th anniversary. I might be shooting you a call soon. To get a gift for my pops, I think he had it in stock. I think he had it in stock. Little Treasury Jeweler says sounds cool. It that's probably not Steve. That's probably somebody w uh, else with Little Treasury. We'll see. But I don't know that he would have said sounds cool. But maybe he would. Maybe the Stevester would have said sounds cool. Um, and Michael says, Craig, uh, how do you feel about the comfort of your SBGN005? Do you think it would be much improved if it were made of titanium? Well, it would be more comfortable, but it's very comfortable the way it is. Because they're thin and they sit flat on your wrist, it rides very, very comfortable. So I think it's a non-issue. And Kyle, you said that yours is really comfortable too, right? So the 261, the, so, this one, yeah. Yeah, so yours is probably more comfortable than mine just because it's a little bit smaller, but it's still it's, nice and trim. Um, very. And, yeah, yeah these, these are either one I, I would consider to be extremely comfortable, Michael. And, yes, would it be nice if it was made of titanium? Yeah, that'd be super cool. But I, yeah, I, I don't think it's necessary in this case. I think they're super comfortable the way they are because they're not that big a watch, right? The The, the thing that helps the diver out quite a bit the 231 is it's such a big watch right if that was in steel i think it would be uncomfortable i think it would be too heavy at least for me i don't like a super heavy watch so there you go um okay uh let's see in anticipation of maryland opening up i have bought a dodgers mask uh studebaker you you said you were on the waiting list for pepsi at the ad are you still on the list okay good uh, wait, you said you were on who 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 was on the waiting list? Who who are you asking? Studebaker was asking. Oh, he's asking me. Oh, I guess I'm on the list. I haven't gotten a call from them. 
but I guess I'm on the list. Triforce Rich, I have one incoming. Okay, so there is a, a 007, I guess, incoming. But those are going to come and go fast, so if you want an 007, you should probably get on the list. The original Supra is also a great Toyota, okay? The Toyota Century is an incredible sedan. Until last year, it had a V12 engine. Wow. Triforce <laughs> Rich, Craig, I only... Sp uh, uh, Craig, I only speak to Steve when I call Little Treasury. Steve is my man. When I call, I tell them, I tell them to tell Steve Triforce Rich is in the house. <laughs> there you and I bet you he takes your call too. <laughs> and Leon's in the house, and he says only Japanese market car I've owned was a 1998 Honda NSX, and I owned it for a couple of years. Uh, pain to work on, but the right-hand drive was cool. <laughs> okay. Came in late, Kyle. What are you wearing? Well, he's got the uh, stunner on wrist, the GS. Let's take another yeah, look at that. Yeah, we're talking about my watch. Yeah. Um, so he's wearing his GS stunner. Uh, let's, 261. Yeah. yeah. And let's see. Okay. Oh, man, we're caught up on the comments. Okay. So, oh, boy. What have you guys done there since we last touched base? What's, what's exciting has happened? Not much is going on here. Yeah, I'd like to say that there was something eventful that I could report on, but Le I, Leslie and I were brainstorming, just thinking maybe one of the next calls. To th that's what I said today. We were thinking maybe we would go on a hike in Palos Verdes and report from the cliffs there where, you know, it's pretty scenic and everything. But, uh, well, right now we got a fire truck here going. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. Right by the place. Saw one of those last time, too. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. There, but... Huh. They yeah, must so... They must know that you're live streaming. They must. <laughs> yeah. So, but, but we were just thinking maybe we could go to some some L.A. spots and report from various Absolutely. places if anybody had any suggestions. Oh, man. That would be great. Well, no. You guys know the area. You know what would be interesting. Um, we do. We do. But... but... You know, it's always good to hear what, you know, feedback from other people or requests or things like that. We were thinking maybe go downtown, downtown Los Angeles. Okay, put in the chat, folks, where would you like a live report from? What about outside of the, um, the where the uh, Grand Seiko AD is? Oh, sure. Rodeo is, Drive. That's Everybody all knows. closed down now, though, right? Or all those yeah, stores closed, closed down? down, but we... I mean, it would be interesting. But you can actually walk. Will they allow you to walk down the street there? I would assume so, yeah. I've never been stopped anywhere for just walking down the street. I haven't been to Beverly Hills since yeah. I went to the Grand Seiko Boutique, which was a couple months ago when, it, when they were still open. Yeah. So that would be a cool report to see how yeah, many I'll people go, are. I'll go down there. We'll see, how many, down. see how many people are wandering around there. Yeah. Um, yeah, that would be cool. Um, yeah, it's worth it. Let's see. There was another comment here. I'm glad the new Gold Stunner is more reasonable size watch. The SBGX038 you had before was listed as 30, 34 mil and looked smaller on wrist. Now, I think it's 35 and a half mils or so. But, yeah, it did look small on the wrist. Um, looked very small. The strap, too, was too short, as I remember. Yeah, it was all right. I mean, I, again, the gentleman that bought it loves it. Um, but yeah, it was a little bit small for my wrist, and I do definitely think that this one is absolutely perfect. The perfect is size. Is that one more comfortable, even though it's bigger? No, the other one was very comfortable, too. <laughs> the other one was like, oh. it wasn't even on your wrist, also. I mean, it was very thin, yeah. hugged the wrist. They they were both exceptionally comfortable. I really um, liked the looks of that but, one. But this one does center better on the wrist, and the strap underneath centers better. So... Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the other one was off-center, um, which was a little bit irritating, but not the end of the world. Uh, the other one wasn't a spring drive that, either. No, no, but it was a 9F. Yeah. So it was it was a grab-and-go, which yeah. uh, in some ways is an advantage, right? I mean, if this was a 9F, yeah. it, it wouldn't bother me one bit if this watch was a 9F. wouldn't bother me one bit. It's, it's cool to watch that sweep of the second hand, I have to admit, but if yeah. this was a 9F, then it would just be a grab-and-go. And the like price no and dates. and the price would have been lower, right? Yeah. So there's that, but they don't offer yeah. it, so it's not like it's an option right now. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see, Kyle, are you going to buy any more Grand Seikos? Maybe for Leslie. 
<laughs> well, maybe, but they don't make any. Leslie wants an automatic watch. Leslie wants to own an automatic watch since most of hers are. So uh, they don't make. So they don't make any nice automatics, for her. They are not small enough. She's got a five-inch wrist. So okay. A twenty-six millimeter watch looks on her wrist about. So you know, she's looking for something more like a lady date Rolex, something like that. Probably something like that, or maybe a steel ladies Rolex. That's what like I mean. That. That's uh, what I mean. Yeah, a lady. Yeah. They used to call them a lady date back in the day. I don't know what they call them now, but. Oh yes. Um, yes. Yeah, yes. I mean something yeah. like that. That now, does she want the date on it, or would she get something without a date? She gets something without a date. We saw something that looked very. It's like an oyster perpetual. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the oyster, the oyster perpetual no comes. Name. The oyster, the neat thing about the oyster perpetual is it comes in all different sizes. Right. Right. And, yeah, I think and if you if you like buy a ladies one used, you can get a deal. Yeah. Because they do not sell well used. Yeah, I know, and I think that's where she probably zero in on just because the Grand Seiko uh, ladies options that we've seen at least don't cut they're all 9f quartz uh, got you got you in the, in the smaller 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 sizes got so you got kind of eliminates it Rolex is is would be it I think but she really likes her citizen that thing was 100 bucks or yeah something. And, and it's nice yeah it's pretty nice they gave us uh I got we got it at Sears during mm -hmm. Black Friday and it was yeah. spend a hundred get a hundred free so I bought a watch too. Wow, yeah, yeah, no, I don't that, wear it, and but that's I a it. that's a cool watch and it it'll probably run for years. It it is quartz, it right? Is. It is. I bought yeah. a Citizen Eco Drive too, and, yeah. and that's another thing. Both watches were on fifty percent off anyway. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Practically nothing for those watches. Okay, so let's see. Pan oh, Panerai. No, I would pass on the Panerais. Somebody's asking about a Panerai Luminar. Oh, but wait, yeah. I was going to answer that question, though. I will buy another one when they make a 36 millimeter spring drive uh, the, model. Well, yours, Almost the one any... the one you have now is 37 mils, right? I'll take 37, yeah, but I mean, okay. ideally, I'd like it to be 36. I'll take 37, though, but no, 38 was, was even looking a little large. I don't think I'd okay. want that. I, 37 is, is max. I so, like the look of Brett's uh, so, date job. So a side. smaller spring drive, you'd be in, like, that, that thinner movement they came out with recently, if they put that in something small and thin, that would be... Sold, yeah, I'll sell Lance this, and, or whoever... Okay. And uh, <laughs> move, I'd move right into into that. That would be the perfect watch. Actually, yeah. just the snowflake. I really like the snowflake dial. So if it just looked exactly like the snowflake, but was thirty six millimeters, don't even doesn't even need to have the date. Don't even want that actually, because I don't want to have to even worry about resetting it every month. Every other month, I'm looking for as little. Yeah, trouble. I, I I would like them to make more watches without dates. I, Every I, watch I, they have has a date, except yours. Practically. Yeah, I think I think having a date is a. I don't think it's a plus personally anymore myself because you can always get that off the phone. I mean, you, yeah, you know, I mean, it, I like not, having it there, but but I do not like having to fix it every other month. Having to mess with it, and. Yeah. One nice thing about the 005 is you can just unscrew it to one notch and run that hour hand forward and switch the date, you know, without having to recalibrate the time. Right. So that is one advantage to that watch. That's cool. Um, okay, let's see. Um, Chi Town. Uh, okay, I'm just trying to catch up here. Have you seen the Omega Seamaster 1948 Center Seconds 38 millimeter? on the leather strap a very nice gentleman's watch they do make some nice there are some nice uh omegas period there's some nice dress watch options out there for omega and maybe when steve does a show we'll do a whole show on the omega dress watch options because some of them are very affordable now some of the gold ones that i've seen most of them have been rose gold but they probably do offer some in yellow gold as well I don't get this everybody wanting rose gold thing. I mean, it seems like a trend to me, and I don't get it. I mean, they don't look as cool as this yellow gold. This yellow gold just looks absolutely stunning. I would not buy this watch if it was rose gold. I just wouldn't have bought it. Um, and it matches all my other gold accessories. 
So I don't get the whole rose gold thing, but we've talked about that before. Grand Seiko needs to offer a solar perpetual date watch. Grand Seiko needs to offer a solar perpetual date watch. Hmm, interesting. Uh, let's see. Saw the GS High Beat SBGJ211 is amazing. Only drawback would be the possible service in Japan expensive and would take a long time. I'm not so sure about that. I'm not so sure servicing would be a problem and take a long time. And first of all, I don't even think you're going to need to have it serviced. I think it's going to be very reliable and run for decades. All of their watches are very reliable, so I don't think you're going to have that problem. Mm -hmm. And let's see here. The Omega Spe Speedmaster. Seamaster is so ugly. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's wrap up here. Um, you're going to be calling in from Beverly Hills. What what day do you all have off that you can do that? For me, let's see. Today's Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday aren't so good mm -hmm. um, for for me, but I can do Thursday. Thursday would probably be a good day. Yeah. And does Leslie have class on Thursday? Ooh, I'd ask her, but she's got the door closed. Yeah, you're gonna have to something. you're gonna have to find out when she has something off. Something criticals going on there. At, yeah, on just the no, school. just find out when she has yeah. off. And when we can coordinate it, and we'll coordinate mm -hmm. a special show with a live report from Beverly Hills. Yeah, yeah. That would be yeah. awesome. <laughs> can you guys hear me okay? Is that? Oh, yeah. Or is it, I can hear you. It's not tough. Okay, all righty. Because I watched the playback on the last one that we were in here, and it was just, I couldn't hear me hear myself. Let us know in the no. chat if you guys can hear okay, Kyle. I, I can hear him fine, but let, let, us okay. know, let us know in the chat if he's coming through fine. And let us know uh, are there are any questions that you have for him, and uh, we will um, we'll deal with it before he drops out here. We got about a th twenty second delay or something. We have to wait and see if they put any any comments mm -hmm. in here. And do comment on on whether or not uh, whether or not you can hear him. Okay, Carlos, don't tell Craig your wife disagrees. He will make you wrench her. <laughs> no, no, we don't want to use the wrench on the wives. That's not a good play. And Triforce Rich says, Kyle sounds fine. Oh, good. Um, and Thank you. David Williams says, here, Kyle, fine. And okay. Thanks, Rich. Uh, we have Kyle just fine. Uh, he doesn't have the chipmunk voice. There you go. Kyle, nice. And, and here's another one says, I can hear him fine. Okay, so they can hear you. Uh, now, what are you using for the mount for the phone? Yeah, what you recommended, actually. I bought that. I ordered it from Amazon. It's, and it's working? Yeah, it's working fine. So my, you my actually thinking, put it on a tripod? I did, yeah. I put, okay. I put it on the tripod. I, I was thinking, though, for when I go to Beverly Hills, I'll probably use a microphone. But I'm going to need to get one of those adapters to put into the phone because they took the headphone jack away from iPhones. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Or it, maybe I could use my maybe I could use my AirPods. I maybe don't know if those will work over Skype. I'm not Pro sure. You have to though, right? You have to test it. I'm yeah, not I've never sure. made a Skype call. On I'm this, not but... sure if those work, but no, I think the the built-in mic will work if you if you have the phone close enough to you if you're holding it with your hand. Okay, cool. You know, and and that right. that mount that you got that's great for holding it also because yeah. it's got that little thing on the bottom, right? It does. And so that should be pretty good for holding on to it. Yeah, it works. It has a level built in, too, which is nice. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, yeah. cool. Yeah, those things are, are a great deal for what you get, I think. And it has a mount on top, too, for a for an additional microphone. Yeah, exactly. If you get... Yeah, so something like that would slide in. Yeah, and... Um... There are some wireless mic options for those things, but I don't know how well they work. I think you have to go with like a Rode Wireless Go to get decent quality, and mm -hmm. that's and that's like a two hundred dollar kit, so it's expensive. So I would just use the built-in mic. I think it's going to work. Okay, good. I think it, for that type of thing, I think it's going to work. Um, Great. Let's see, Kyle. What is your ideal daily driver of the future? I don't mean a watch, uh, an actual car. Daily driver oh, car. My ideal daily driver. I don't even think I'm. I don't foresee changing. I don't drive much, but mm -hmm. I have an E46 2005 M3 competition package. Mm -hmm. Don't think I'm ever gonna change. I love that car. It is absolute perfection for me. 
Now, do you uh, keep it inside? You keep it in the garage? Yeah, it's in the it's in the garage actually. Okay. So Leslie, we we drive her car more. Mm -hmm. She has a 1989 Suzuki Sidekick. Okay, cool. So we drive that more often. Oh, those are cool. And that... Yeah, it's really cool. We got it. It was uh, we got it maybe a year and a half ago from mm -hmm. somebody that used it as a tow along with their RV. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. About eighteen thousand miles on it. Oh, cool. Or oh, that something. Was a... It's in 1989. It's in a pristine condition. That was so. a good move, man. You 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 make some good moves. I'm noticing. Yeah, because I mean, it was it was only a few thousand dollars, and I just yeah. felt like. But that's a the perfect you know. car to get because I mean, it wasn't used that much. It was probably an older couple or something. Yeah, I mean, it, it, exactly. It was probably so pampered. It looks perfect. I'll have to put a video up. Actually, I. I I well, you can show it if you park. take it to Beverly Hills. You can when you when you park or whatever, you can show it, right? Yeah, um, we will. We will take it. To, we will take that. It to might Beverly be an advantage. There might be some parking available with everything closed. There might yeah. be actually somewhere for you to park. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, we'll be taking that car for sure. I drove my car for the last couple of months, and we just switched back to hers because although I rent my house out, I kept my garage. Oh, oh, cool. Good move. <laughs> yeah. um, Michael says the E46 M3 is one of the greatest sports cars ever made. Well, there you go. I agree. I'd take it a step further and say it's the best car ever made. Well, there I, you I, go. I've owned a lot of cars. I mean, cool. I've owned a lot of cars. I don't, if and, you don't have kids or anything, mm -hmm. which I don't, I'm not towing mm -hmm. people around. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, I, I feel very in touch with the road. And it's she, not great on gas she, mileage, she, but... Chi Town says, keep that E46 strong and healthy, Kyle. BMWs nowadays aren't the driver's cars they used to be. They're there not. Go. They're not. Yeah. I've owned some newer ones. No thanks. Yeah. And Chi Town says an 89 Sidekick is the perfect beach vehicle. Well, there you go. It is. Especially it when is. you get a low mileage, nice one like that. You, yeah, that was a find. It All was. right. Yeah. We are going to let you go. And so you can let me know, are we friends on Facebook? I don't have Facebook. Oh, you don't do the Facebook thing. Okay. No. So you can just not, email. I'm not on you, any social media at all. Nothing. You, you can except just YouTube. you can just yeah. email me then. Yeah, I'll let, email you. Let me know. I'll stay away from that, from that stuff. Yeah, just let me know when um, looks good for you guys, and then I'll schedule it, and you you know put a special thumb, thumbnail up. Absolutely, Leslie's Leslie's got you on Instagram though, because she's on that at least. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 Yeah. All right. Well, we will um, we'll uh, wrap up for now, and we will uh, look forward to that report. Hopefully, later in the week or early next week. You know, whenever you guys can can get it together. And Sounds I'm good. trying. I'm, I'm going to try to do the broadcasts. You know, as long as the lockdown continues here in the socialist state of Maryland. Um, <laughs> well, thank you so much for doing them. It's keeping yeah. it's keeping uh, us going here. I know that for sure. So I'm, I'm certain well, everybody in the chat feels well, the same. Way. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Thanks for calling in. Oh, All yeah. right. There you go. Just like that. Kyle live from CA. And that's how it works on the channel. Folks can call in just Ooh. like that. <clears throat> Got a full report from, from Kyle. And man, just like that, we've been live for an hour, hour and eight minutes, something like that. Let's do another time check on the 231 Stunner, the 231 Spring Drive Stunner. So, yeah, I was just thinking to myself, I've got two Spring Drives now. One Auto Wind Stunner, and one is Manual Wind Stunner. So that's kind of interesting. I feel, I feel kind, of, kind of spoiled now that I have a Dress Watch Stunner. I have an All-Arounder. An all-arounder stunner. Look at the way that catches the light. Look at that. <laughs> I have an all-arounder stutter stunner. Look at that uh, red GMT hand. And then I've got the arguably the ultimate dress watch, the ultimate killer killer combo dress watch. What do you guys think about that? Let's let this thing snuggle back underneath. So that it snuggle back underneath that French cuff just like that. Just like that. We don't want to have too much of that exposed because, you know, somebody might might go into a state of panic. 
if they get too much of a look at that. Too much of a look at a at a beautiful thing can be can be a problem. All right, we are going to wrap it up. And somebody says it's time for a sweet potato super meal. By the way, a buddy of mine, Dan, he started eating. Uh, he's modified his eating habits to be a little bit in line with what I eat. And he's already losing weight, already feeling better, feeling more energy. And he's um, he's only been doing it for about a week. He's, he's starting to... Uh, really see results so that's great that uh, that he's going to turn his health situation around and get healthy all of a sudden Carlos says bye I'm I have to agree the O2 is the ultimate dress watch Michael in the house all right we're going to wrap it up everybody hey click subscribe and click the bell and we will do this again hopefully manana and thanks, Craig. Enjoy your evening. You do the same, our wags. You do the same. You're in motion. You're making things happen. You're doing deals. Nobody's locking down our wags. That is certain. I am certain of that. And I want to be like you, too, says Studi Baker. There you go. Thanks, guys, for having me. Kyle in the house. And it was al- it's always good to get a report from... California, a live report from California. And Carlos says, by all. All right, one last check on the time, and we're going to wrap it up again. Click subscribe. And he says, that shirt, that shirt's too big for you. This is the way shirts are supposed to be. They're supposed to have a lot of fabric in them. They're not supposed to be tight. I mean, you just, any high-end shirt should always have plenty of fabric in it. If the shirt's real snug-fitting, that's an indication of a low-end shirt. That would be a thumbs down on the low-end shirts around here. We don't have any low-end shirts. This one is, I believe, I want to say this is a Brooks Brothers from back in the day when they were made in the United States of America, not the junk they sell now. So, on that last note, on that last note, we will wrap this puppy up. Thanks again, everybody, for watching.